Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. This is year seven of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoyed the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a transcript can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17verses.com. Today's selection is from Surah 33, al Ahzab, or the Confederates, verses 21 through 34. In these verses, we are taught that the best model for Muslims is the life of Prophet Muhammad himself. Next, the lesson that God helped Muslims gain victory over the unbelievers. And lastly, an admonition to the wives of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and God's commandment to them specifically. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. You have indeed in the life of the Messenger of God the best model for him whose hope is in Allah and the day of the hereafter, and who engages himself much in the remembrance of Allah. When the true believers saw the confederate forces, they said, This is what Allah and his messenger had promised us. Allah and his messenger were absolutely true. This increased them all the more in their faith and their zeal in obedience. Among the believers there are men who have been true to their covenant with Allah. Of them, some have completed their vow through sacrificing their lives, and some others are waiting for it, and have not changed their determination in the least. All this happens so that Allah may reward the truthful for their truth, and punish the hypocrites, or accept their repentance if He wills, for Allah is forgiving and merciful. Allah turned back the unbelievers. They retreated in their rage without gaining any advantage, and Allah was sufficient to fight on behalf of the believers, for Allah is all-powerful and almighty, and brought down from their fortresses those people of the book who supported the invaders and cast terror into their hearts. As a result, some of them you slew and some you took as prisoners. Thus he made you heirs of their lands, their houses, and their goods, and also the land, or Khyber, on which you had never set your foot before. Truly Allah has power over all things. O Prophet, peace be upon him, say to your wives, If you desire the life of this world and its glitter, then come, I shall give you of these and let you go in an honorable way. But if you seek Allah and his messenger and the home of the hereafter, then you should rest assured that Allah has prepared a great reward for those of you who are good. O wives of the Prophet, if any of you were guilty of open indecency, her punishment will be increased to double and this is easy for Allah. Those of you, O wives of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who obey Allah and his messenger and practice righteousness, shall be granted double reward, and for them we have prepared a generous provision. O wives of the Prophet, peace be upon him, you are not like the other women. If you fear Allah, then you should not be complacent while talking to the men who are not closely related to you lest the one in whose heart is a disease may thereby be encouraged and speak using suitable good words. Stay in your homes and do not display your finery as women used to do in the days of ignorance before Islam. Establish prayers, pay charity, and obey Allah and His Messenger. O women of the household of the Messenger, Allah only intends to remove uncleanliness from you and to purify you completely. Remember the revelations of Allah and wise sayings which are recited in your homes. Surely Allah is aware of even the finest mysteries. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.